Ben. Family members of a Utica man are trying to sort out some details after they believe he had a heart attack and died Saturday night. What makes this out of the ordinary, though, is the man was fighting against those floodwaters, trying to push stalled vehicles. As Nick Monticelli reports, there was so much water surrounding his home, even first responders had a hard time getting there. Yeah, I, I can't believe it. I've, I've known him for a long time. Looking directly next door, Mike Ferentz is astonished his friend and neighbor is gone. The 59 year old had what's believed to be a heart attack during the storm on Saturday night. This Utica neighborhood borders the Clinton River. By Saturday afternoon, many roads and parks had turned into their own river. So when this man needed help, even police and firefighters had a hard time getting to him. Where is he? This area in Utica is known for flooding. In fact, those who live down the bottom of this hill actually move their vehicles to the top of it, parking them over here to avoid the floodwaters. Uh, they were getting their cars up to the corner, like I said, and it's a real low spot right there going up the hill and the one car didn't make it and I guess he was pushing to try to get it up the hill and he had a heart attack and fell in the water and passed away. The car he was pushing stalled in the flood water and not to be callous about his death, but some believe there's a lesson here. Heed Mother Nature. When uh, Mother Nature is developing a, uh, a situation that could compromise where you're at, by all means, don't disregard it, uh, move quickly, and uh, just leave whatever's behind because you can always come back for it. Where is he? You don't know, screw with Mother Nature. No, it, <laughs> I've seen it pick up things that is unbelievable.